Hey guys, so it's Monday morning now, uh, 30th I believe, and uh, I got the parts, I'll show you the box here. <clears throat> I got the parts, and these are from Smith Brothers. So what I ordered was, I ordered a solenoid, okay, I ordered the top, the magnetic part of the, um, or oh, what's it called, this? I can't think of the name of this thing. But anyway, that, and I bought the uh, valve for the C part of the, of the um, uh, plow. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these, the part off there and I'm going to replace it. And I just want to show you, I'm just going to look at this bill, make sure that I got the right part. Yeah, C coil. Alright, so it's called the C coil and C valve. These two parts here, this one and this one. <clears throat> I don't want to replace this or this yet. I just want to replace this. Because I think that what's wrong is something inside there. It's either clogged up. You can see there's some real small screens in there. They're either clogged up or um, the O-rings are worn out. Something's bad with it. So I'm going to work on that. But what I want to show you before I go too far here is the 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 battery on the truck has not been dead for four days since I replaced the alternator. But here's what I want to show you. I took this wire off of this solenoid and without any you see how it's wanting them it makes the it makes the plow want to turn and without any switches on there's no switches on there at all asking it to turn but it's wanting to turn so I don't think that it's over there it doesn't seem to be inside the solenoid here it just seems to be doing it by itself so that's what I want to try to fix first before I put this wire back on here. So once I replace that valve and I put oil in it, if I don't know how much oil I'm going to lose here, but if I, when I put oil in it, I expect that this thing should work good. So that's what I'm going to try first and I'll keep you in touch here as I go with what the story is. Before I start, just, just to give you a little idea with the weather, you can see it's foggy out. It was raining. I had to put boards down to get the plow in because I couldn't pick it up because it's not attached. So it's like one thing after the other. I've been having just a bad, I don't know, testing week. I've been okay with it, trying to get the stuff. But and then this morning I got the response from the from the UP or the postal service on the computer, and they said that it's being sent back because of the wrong address. You know, I don't know what to tell you. The address on there was perfect. Everything was right about it. But apparently someone else that they just hired didn't know me. And how can they? So, I don't know. I just, I've had it. But let me work on this and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys. So this is the one I'm going to take off here. This is the C solenoid. Okay. So, it's just a matter of taking this nut off the top. And then this thing just comes right off the valve. So, let me just take this and set it to the side. Now, there's an easy way of testing whether that works or not. But here's the thing, I, I bought that less than two years ago. So I'm, I'm trusting that that thing does work. Now I gotta get a, a ratchet to put on top of that with a long bolt on it in my breaker bar to get that thing off of there. So let me get the tools for that and then I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so what I have here is an extension, I mean an extended socket. It's an inch and a quarter. Now the way this thing is made, I would imagine you could get a wrench on there, an inch and a quarter wrench. The problem with it is you got a nut here or a bolt that's sticking up a little bit. You don't have far that you could really swing, so a socket you know, is the way to go. So, um, let me get a ratchet now and put it on there. It wasn't that hard to break that. I thought it might be hard, but it wasn't. I'll get a ratchet. Ok, 
Okay, now I have it up off there pretty well, but there's some dirt around it. So before I take the threads out of there and I knock the dirt in, I'm gonna wipe that dirt off good. So let me get a rag and stuff and I'll be back and show you that. Okay, so I got some blue paper towel, which a lot of guys hate for some reason. I guess, I guess if you're a real fussy body guy and you're trying to do a really nice paint job, this blue paper towel probably gives you some uh, lint and stuff in the paint. But um, for what I'm trying to do here, all I want to do is just get this valve out of here and take a look at it. Okay. All right, so far so good. Now, the problem here it doesn't really look well something was stuck in there it looks like the rubbers are kind of wore down they're pushed up on one side for some reason let me look at the um, that's weird let me look at the new valve and see what it looks like I had to replace that oil just a, a few, maybe a week or so ago. So I'm not going to be bothering draining the oil out of it because I've already done that. I've already cleaned out the filters that are in the front of this thing. I don't know if you know this or not, but two of these nuts in the front. Let me just... Yeah, two of these nuts in here. I think it's this one and this other top one here. Are, are actually filters, little filter screens. So, all right, so now looking at this, this doesn't have any of the that defect look in it. Um, let me just see this here. Yeah, it's, I know it's hard for you to see, but the washer here doesn't look like it's wide enough and it's moving around in there, so, I don't know when that was replaced. I don't think I replaced that. I've never bought a valve. I did replace the uh, the um, the magnet though. So let me just take a drop of this fluid and put it on here, and then I'm going to put this in here. I'll tell you one thing for for just plowing snow. My goodness, there's a whole lot of little things going on on here. Now when I put this on here, if I touch that wire and this does not come on, then I would imagine that this fixed that. And one of the things that I had read in the book was that if it went to the one side like that, it said to replace the washers on this part. Now I would imagine the washers on the part would probably be a lot cheaper than buying the whole thing. But really, I was telling you, I got, I felt like I got a good deal on everything. The Smith Brothers from the New Jersey there, they seem like really decent people. I like them a lot. They're quick. I mean, I ordered the stuff one at one night and it was in the mail the next day. So, just pull on that with this breaker bar a little bit. I don't want to break anything. I just want to make sure it's tight. Okay. Alright, so this if, if, if what I'm thinking is wrong with this and if the washers, replacing the washers would have fixed it, then there should be no problem here with just putting this only back on here okay now I'm not positive about that either you know it's because I, I just there's so many things they give you on the list that might be wrong that it's almost a joke all right so anyway we're gonna put this back on here and then we'll touch that wire up there and see what happens I'm hoping it's fixed. 
I really don't need this aggravation. This weather's been so crappy. It's not that it's bitter cold out, but it's cold enough to make you miserable and then it had rain all, you know, for weeks. So the reason I bought the different parts is I figured everything that has to do with turning it. So I got the valve, I got this. If, um, if it still does it, I'm going to replace this. And if that fixes it, I'm in good shape. If that doesn't do it, I'm going to replace the solenoid that's up there. Because I can't figure out anything else that it would be. Because the switch is good. The switch isn't, uh, that's in the, in the truck is not on the on position. And it's hard to tell whether a wire is scraping somewhere or something. You never freaking know. But we'll just check this first. And then I'll check wires. Okay, so let me tap the wire here and see what happens. Okay, now why is that thing still wanting to pull over there? I have no idea. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, change the the, uh, pump, the uh, magnet there, the solenoid. So this is the new solenoid here. So the plug is out there. You know the weird thing about this is it seems as if I want to see. Oh, I have this plug off here for this turning. I want to see if uh, when I touch the wire off over there, it still acts up. Let me just turn this back a little bit right there. You know, at first I thought something might have been um, frozen inside there. I thought maybe there was a drop of water or something in there and it froze. But that doesn't seem to be the problem. But if this thing still uh, acts up when I touch this, I'm going to have to change the solenoid. I'm not sure what else it's going to be. Now, ain't that weird? Hmm. Okay, so it still does it. So now, that means that these parts that I'm putting on here did not have to be put on. That's kind of disappointing. But I'll leave them on there and I'll just save the other ones. For, uh, in case they do act up. Too happy with that at that. All right, now I plug this in. I'm just going to see if that's going to do the same thing there with the uh, pop wire. Wow, that's something. All right, so the only thing I can do here now is check on the, um, the wires 
Now, let me just show this to you here. I'm going to replace that, um, that uh, solenoid. I'm going to replace the solenoid. Yeah, there it is. But first, before I replace the solenoid, I just want to show you this. Now, when I wired this, the wires coming from up front there are in a case. And that case goes all the way across to the other side here. And, um, let's see if I can take the camera off again and just show this to you where it's going. So it's here. And I don't know if you can see that, but the wires goes in there. And there is, not, it's not bare, it's not wore down or anything. So there shouldn't be anything bothering that to that point. So, and I did already look at the switches, but who knows? Maybe one of the switches is goofy, I don't know. But let me just change this thing here, this magneto, or whatever it's called solenoid and we'll see okay guys so here is the thing I have the solenoid hooked back up and now I'm touching the wire and I'm not getting anything so apparently the solenoid was bad so I didn't need those other parts I bought them anyway because I wanted to have everything that went for turning so I'm gonna take the bolt out of the battery there put this wire back on there and we should be good to go thank God I hope I'm thinking it will be so let's just finish doing that okay guys so the wires hooked up there and nothing's happening which is wonderful so I'm gonna move my tools here off this bench or I mean off my truck just set them here for a minute I'll clean up here then oh and by the way talking about things going bad the, one of these things went on the top of my compressor motor. I put a brand new one on and it went. So now I gotta buy a new motor, I suppose. Uh, they're $800. The freaking air compressor was $700 on sale. The motor's $800 from Ingersoll Rand or from the people they claim you should buy from. But I did find one on Amazon for five something. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet either. I do have a small air compressor over there behind the black buckets right there if I, you know, I'm in a bind. But man, I'm telling you, you would expect an air compressor from Ingersoll Rand to last a lifetime, not five years. So anyway, back to this thing. So let me move all my leftover parts out of the way here. And we should be in good shape. I do want to get rid of this uh, solenoid here. I want to make sure I don't save that. Okay, let me move my tools and stuff, guys, and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get in the truck here. Or actually, I don't even have to get in. I can just reach the buttons. So this yellow one is up and down, so it should go up. Okay. And then this black one is side to side. Wonderful. Oh man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord, that was good. All right, so now uh, let me just explain this to you, um, what I found out here too. When I took this off the truck, you can hear, I know, I, I know you guys can't hear it there, it's very light, but I can hear one thing bumping. But on the truck just now, when I put the new one on, I could hear two things when I shook it. I could hear two things bumping. And apparently something's, you know, in here made itself fast. I could take it apart and look at it. I'm not going to bother because it's already cost me this much money to fix it. So, thank you. The plow is now fixed. So, if, and here's the things. If you're going to go to cheap route and you wanted some cheap ideas, um, 
you have to remember that turning the plow has to do with this C, the one I'm pointing at, the C solenoid, or whatever you call that thing, right? So if that works, if that's working, then the, the plow should do what it's supposed to. But apparently one of the switches in the meter here, okay, in the... God, I can't think of it. Keep track of the solenoid. One of the switches in the solenoid here must be burned fast. And, you know, sometimes it happens. You've got a lot of juice there going. So that was the thing that needed to be replaced. Now, the other parts cost me... Oh, this whole thing cost me 130 bucks for, for one of these, one of these and the solenoid valve, the valve. And let's see, is that called a solenoid? Let me see what that's called. That's a solenoid. You know, I used to know all the names of this stuff and now I can't even, coil. Okay, so this coil, this and this cost me 133 delivered to my, to my post office. So, really, $133, I don't mind spending that. That's not that much money today, you know, to buy parts. And now I have all new parts. The good thing is, this still works. The solenoid still works. The valve, or the, gosh, darn, the coil. The coil still works. The valve still works. And this thing here is junk. So, that's all I got to get rid of. But I have a box up there, right here, this box here, that has parts in it for the, um, for the uh, um, uh, plow and I'll be able to put them in bags and I'll put them up there and then I'll have something good to hang on to for later just in case. All right, so that fixes that. One more thing, uh, PD, that's done. <laughs>